Hello to my super duper Peppa fans. Welcome back. Today we are going to read Peppa Pig, Peppa the Zookeeper. Let's read. Book two kids. It was breakfast time and mommy and daddy pig has a big surprise for Peppa. We are going to the zoo, announced Daddy Pig. You are going to be a zookeeper for the day. Wow, cried Peppa. What do zookeepers do? Excellent question, Peppa, said Daddy Pig. That's what we are going there to find out. Hooray, cheered Peppa. Peppa was so excited that she sang all the way to the zoo. Bing bong bing, bing bong boo, I am going to the zoo. When they arrived, Mr. Lion, the zookeeper, was waiting at the gate. Hello, Peppa, he said. I hear you are helping us today. Yes, cried Peppa. What does a zookeeper do? First, you must put on your important zookeeper's clothes, said Mr. Lion, passing a uniform to Peppa. It was very early and there were no visitors in the zoo yet. We need to get breakfast ready, said Mr. Lion. Can you help pick some lettuce? Lettuce, said Peppa, for breakfast? Yuck, said George. It is the turkey's favorite, explained Mr. Lion. Peppa and George picked all the lettuce. Is this enough? asked Peppa. Oh, plenty, said Mr. Lion, looking at the empty lettuce patches. Peppa helped Mr. Lion feed the torties some lettuce. Breakfast with the tortoises was lots of fun. Now, yeah, yeah. They are very hungry, aren't they? said Peppa. They are indeed, said Mr. Lion. Peppa pretended to be a tortoise moving slowly and munching on lettuce. You look just like a tortoise, Peppa, said Daddy Pig, chuckling. I love looking after the tortoises, said Peppa. But what else does the zookeeper do? I'll show you, said Mr. Lion. We keep everyone happy at the zoo. Mr. Lion took everyone to check on the butterflies. Do butterflies eat lettuce for breakfast? asked Peppa. Butterflies get their food and drink from flowers, said Mr. Giraffe, who looked after the butterflies. Peppa watched the butterflies slurp from the flowers. Flutter, 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 slurp, 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 said Peppa, pretending to be a butterfly. George giggled. <laughs> What else does a zookeeper do? asked Peppa. This is Mrs. Crocodile, said Mr. Lion. She is the zookeeper in charge of penguins. Hello, Mrs. Crocodile, said Peppa. What are you doing? I am feeding the penguins some fish, replied Mrs. Crocodile. Would you like to help? Oh, cried Peppa. Yes, please. Peppa and Mrs. Crocodile threw fish to the penguins. The penguins were very good at catching them. Waddle, 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 catch, said Peppa, pretending to be a penguin. You look just like a penguin, Peppa, said Mummy Pig. Everyone laughed when they saw Peppa waddle, even the penguins. That was amazing, said Peppa. What else does the zookeeper do?
Mr. Lion rolled up on the zoo train to collect Peppa and her family. <laughs> cried George. Where are we going now? Mr. Lion asked Peppa. To check on the tiny creatures, said Mr. Lion. First stop, the wild wood. How exciting, said Daddy Pig. Hooray, cheered Peppa and George. I can't see any tiny creatures, said Peppa when they go to the wood. Mr. Lion gave Peppa a magnifying glass. It made tiny things look big. Look, a ladybird, said Peppa. What does she eat? Small insects that she finds in the wild, explained Mr. Lion. So we don't need to feed her breakfast, asked Peppa. No, said Mr. Lion. There are lots of things she can eat right here in the wood. After the wild wood, Mr. Lion drew Peppa and her family all around the zoo. Now everyone's had breakfast. What do we do? asked Peppa. Lunch, said Mr. Lion. It's feeding time, said Peppa again. It is always feeding time at the zoo, said Mr. Lion. But what do we feed the tortoises? asked Peppa. There's no more lettuce and it's their favorite. We will have to find something else, said Mr. Lion, frowning. Just then, Peppa had an idea. My granny and grandpa grow lettuce in their garden, said Peppa. We could get some from them. What a wonderful idea, Peppa, said Mummy Pig. That would be fantastic, said Mr. Lion. All aboard the zoo train. Next stop, Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. George, George, cheered George. Peppa and her family hopped on the zoo train with Mr. Lion. They trundled out of the zoo, down the road and all the way to Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Hello, little ones, said Granny and Grandpa Pig as the zoo train pulled up outside their house. You look very smart, Peppa, said Grandpa Pig. I am a zookeeper for the day, said Peppa. How lovely, said Granny Pig. Peppa explained that the zoo needed Granny and Grandpa Pig's help. We have run out of lettuce, she said, and the tortoises want some for lunch. Well, said Grandpa Pig, we can certainly help with that. Grandpa Pig took everyone to his vegetable patch and they got picking soon. They had filled the zoo train with lettuce. Thank you, Granny and Grandpa, said Peppa. Yes, thank you very much, added Mr. Lion. You're most welcome, said Grandpa Pig. Happy to help. Back at the zoo, the tortoises were very happy with their lovely lettuce lunch. What a fantastic zookeeper you are, Peppa, said Mr. Lion. You have looked after the animals and made them feel safe and happy. Being a zookeeper is fun, said Peppa. Who do we need to feed next? Us, said Mr. Lion. It's feeding time for the zookeepers. Let's wash our hands and have our own lunch. Peppa and her family sat with the zoo sat with the other zookeepers. Fancy some lettuce for lunch, Peppa? At asked Daddy Pig. Yes, please, Daddy, said Peppa. I love being a zookeeper because it's always feeding time at the zoo. 
Peppa loves being a zookeeper. Everyone loves being a zookeeper. Book Tube Kids.